Hello everybody, so we're at Era Force Waterfalls and this is the first night of our big Scotland trip. Currently in the Lake District and Alvy's going a bit mad. Um, he's not happy after a long car journey. But yeah, we're staying here for the night and then we're going on up to Loch Lomond tomorrow. Yeah, so we'll even show our park up as well in the car park. It's £10 overnight, so it's pretty reasonable compared to some campsites around here. It's a National Trust site, is that? <laughs> yeah, so if you remember, it's even cheaper, I think. <laughs> so guys, from the car park, we've managed to find the footpath down to the lake. So we've taken a wander down, it's really peaceful, we're the only ones here. So it's just nice to go down and enjoy it for a little bit before we go back to the van for the evening. So guys, I thought I'd just show you our park up. So this is the National Trust car park. You see it's pretty empty now. And it's just gone five o'clock. And there's us, one other van in here and a car left. But it's a nice little car park. There's a fair few walks around here and stuff to do. So it's great for an overnight stop. You know, like what we're doing for Scotland. It's perfect for us for this. And uh, we may stop on the way back as well. everybody so we're on day two of our Scotland trip we've made it to Loch Lomond um, and this is our stopover for the night it's called Firkin Point and it's free to stay from the 1st of October so I don't think we've actually shown you where we got to in the van since we last filmed um, but yeah this is our current setup so it's all primed filled but we need to paint the wood but yeah, happy with how it's looking so far. And then we've got our shower room, all our coats hanging, and the dog's towel drying. third night in Scotland and we found a campsite just outside of Grenco to stay in as you see the sun setting behind me just over the lock and we are parked up by here we've got views straight over the lock so we're backing straight onto it so it's really nice obviously we decided to stay on a campsite tonight rather than wild camp we need to fill up our water um, empty our toilet those sorts of things and obviously the weather's not been great today so just being able to stay on a campsite and have a hook up as well just means our batteries are charging up nicely. Okay, so we finally made it to Glenfin in Viaduct, famous Harry Potter Viaduct. So we're just going to wait now for the Jacobite to go across. So we'll try and film so you can see it. But yeah.
So guys, we've made it into Maleg to get our ferry across the sky for the next part of our trip. There's not a lot around here, so if you are traveling by camper van, plan to spend as you know little time as you can here. The only problem is you have to pre-book with a camper van now, so anything that's camper van boat home or you know van with windows, those sorts of things, they really don't like you just queuing. So we've had to pre-book last night, but we've made the mistake of spending a bit too much time here, and there's really not a lot around in the town. So for like an hour, hour and a half is fine, but any more than that, there's not a lot to see. So hopefully the trip won't be too bad across into Sky, and then we can enjoy some of the scenery across there. We did go for a cup of coffee in a little cafe, um, and then when we were walking back to the van, we did manage to see the Jacobite in Malig train station. So that was quite nice to see. Um, they're turning it round to do the trip back to Fort William. So we've seen it twice today. finally made it onto Sky. Um, we decided we were going to stay in a campsite again tonight. Um, we found quite a nice one called Camping Sky and it's a non-profit um, campsite run by the towns. Um, so we just come for a little walk now, just a path behind the campsite and it's brought us up to this lovely viewpoint. Um, so yeah, we're just going to head back in a minute, warm up a little bit and tomorrow we're off to the fairy pools. So it's day five on our Scotland trip and we've just parked up at the fairy pools. So we're just walking up now and we'll take you guys with us to have a look at them. I think we'll be okay in a minute. It's only spitting lightly. So we're currently halfway up into the ferry pools. There's a few people going in. I don't think we're going to brave it today, but the water is so beautiful. If it was a tiny bit warmer, I think we would have got stuck on and got in there. But not today. It's about nine degrees, so it's pretty cold up here. Everybody. So we've left Skye and we're back on the mainland now. Um, so we're currently in Fort Augustus walking around Loch Ness. Um, we had a couple of days of really bad weather, um, just like van life fails. So we didn't really record much. Um, but yesterday we walked up Storm. 
help me. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, that killed us off a little bit. So yeah, we're just gonna have a little wander and start making our way back down today. Hopefully we're gonna get to park up on Loch Lomond again. Caledonian Canal. It's pretty amazing the size of the boats they get up in these locks. We're used to the Monmouthshire and Brecon Canal which is like a really small one which is not connected to the rest of the network either. So to see, well, ships essentially coming up locks is pretty amazing. As you can see the size of these locks, this is quite a big canal. So guys we've just gone through Glencoe and we're driving back to Loch Lomond. So the road we're on is pretty amazing so if you're coming up this way there's loads of places you can stop but we recommend just taking in the views when you're up here because they're all pretty pretty cool views everyone so it's the last day of our trip um, we're not actually in Scotland anymore we're in the Lake District staying on Coniston Lake on a campsite it's called Coniston Hall Camping and um, so we just did a quick little walk into the town went to the pub and Albie's did a little swim in the lake but we're probably gonna call it a day on this vlog um, sorry it's been a bit choppy we're not very used to <laughs> filming our travels. No, obviously you've seen us film some of the van builds and things like that and hopefully we'll get a bit better at this travel vlogging. Yeah, we're going to give it a go. Please like, please don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you in the next video.